Hey guys, how's it going? This is Game Boy SP13 releasing a commentary video to basically hold you off until the next big project and pretty much maintaining the daily upload schedule. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the weather today. So the weather is sunny with a side of quietness, a side of mortality, and of course, breaking fucking news. An anonymous source over at Facebook has led me to a Planet Fitness that is facing an all-out brawl. That is right. People visiting the place right now are actually fighting each other using granola bars as weapons, plastic cases of protein tossed around the place, and of course, numerous 1v1s on basketball weightlifting contests, and of course tennis. There is another Facebook live stream leaning into the gym where people are fighting each other with fucking towels. It is now being said that a SWAT team is heading out to that Planet Fitness as we speak. I have gotten an update of a guy that has pretty much ran into the scene, pulling his pants down, showing off his genitals, screaming dicks out for Harambe. I have also gained knowledge of another Facebook live stream that is taking place in a place that is nearby that Planet Fitness. It is what appears to be a fast food restaurant. Oh. Now oh, I'm seeing more of it. I do believe that this is a jack-in-the-box. Also, I do see in the background a person who looks to be like he was about to go into that Planet Fitness, but however, he is now sitting down and eating the latest newly introduced menu item. I have also received another update that I was just kidding and all of this shit was made up. Anyway, seriously, let's go into today's video. A Japanese gaming news outlet titled Gamer has once again gotten their hands on the VR update for Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Now, a lot of you guys may not know this, but the VR update will come on October 13th, around the same time as the release of the PlayStation VR headset. Not only did they got to try out the VR update, but they recorded themselves trying it out. And in this 2 minute and 41 second video, we also managed to get a hold of the VR footage. The reason why is because the screen is displaying what the player is seeing through the VR headset. According to the footage being seen, your DualShock 4 turns into a random spaceship. And you can use that random spaceship as to pretty much fly and bump into girls. There is still questions that need to be answered as towards the VR update. Now, the first question that we should be asking is, is there going to be PlayStation Move support because of this? Or are we to be stuck with the DualShock 4 controller? Another question, but this time it's going to be for the PlayStation VR headset. When it comes to head movements with the PlayStation VR, do we have the ability to zoom in and out by tilting our head forward and tilting our head back, or are we to use the right analog stick on the DualShock 4? There were times where the camera switched from the screen to the guy playing the game, and I have seemed to have noticed the man tilting his head forward and zooming in on the character. The only mode that we are able to see in the footage was the, I guess you could say the VR mode where you are freely able to do whatever you wish to the character while you can change from one camera angle to another camera angle, yada yada yada. It is also confirmed that we are able to go through the Paradise modes using the VR headset. There is also no word on the idea of playing through the entire game, which is basically going through Travel to Zack Island mode, which is your basic gameplay mode, using the PlayStation VR headset. No word on that. Will everyone else get a sneak peek at the VR update themselves? Well, the possibility of that could be at the Tokyo Game Show. And of course, TGS is coming next month. And in speaking of TGS, I gotta do a video on Tokyo Game Show stuff. Now, what do I think of the footage? I am damn well impressed with the VR update so far. Not only am I getting a little VR free mode, but I have the option to go through the Paradise modes with the VR headset, and that's 
damn well awesome. I would love to see the ability to play through the entire game with the VR headset because not only can I just do the beach volleyball, the paradise stuff with the VR headset, I can go through the casino using the VR headset. I'd be like playing roulette, playing virtual poker, playing virtual blackjack, etc. Whatever you can play at the casino virtually. But then again, I am good with the VR free mode and the Paradise mode VR option. Besides, if we were to play through the entire game itself using the VR headset, we're going to have to look forward to another update after the VR update. It's nice to see current games receiving updates where support for the PlayStation VR is being added. Anyway, that is all, and I'll be looking forward to you in the next video.